I watched so many videos and a lot of people have done some beautiful stuff, so I just kind of copied everybody. Commando came available at the police auction, surplus auction. Never thought I would get it. In this two years, I've put on over 23,000 miles already, so I've been to a lot of places. Hello everyone, my name is Jay. This is my home. It's a 2004 Freightliner. It's a Tsunami by Forest River. Let's go take a tour. Welcome to my living room. When it was the command center, all of this was desk. And it was four desk, eight people sat here. I gutted it all out. I have my couch here, TV here. Behind that TV is a Murphy bed. Best thing I've ever done. The slide is three and a half inches up. So you gotta, you gotta put these on the blocks here. And um, here's my bed. These are original. There was desk here for two people. And then they had a file cabinet and then another desk. So four people sat here, and of course on the other side, four people sat. And that's, um, that's the hot water uh, to keep constant hot water. Friends of mine, the Fungs, they uh, bought that for me. So I really love that, I really use it a lot. I watched so many videos, and a lot of people have done some beautiful stuff, so I just kind of copied everybody. Here's the Live Edge, this is Pecan, and I uh, made the countertop here. This is my water. I got really good water pressure. And it works really well. It's a very heavy sink. I had to do this two inches thick just to um, make sure that stuff don't, doesn't bounce and break. This is where a lot of the communication stuff was. Ripped all that out, and I just kind of put a little shelf and pantry. We had to cut a hole. This is where my refrigerator is. It's a DC refrigerator. All right, and here's uh, my prep table. I do a lot of stuff here. In here, I've got uh, a lot of dishes, my silverware. And here I got my uh, smoothie machine. I love the toolbox. It really works out good. This here underneath the fireplace. And this fireplace works really good. It's been cold lately. It works really well. This was another. This is office supplies. It was another file cabinet that was over there in between the desk. So me and my buddy Bob, we cut it down to about six inches. Just enough where the slide will come in. And um, it's a small drawer, but... It works. For the past six years, I had an old vintage camper that I fixed up, and it was wonderful. And I, that's when I start watching all the YouTube, all the bus life, van life. And it was really excited to see people happy and traveling and simple life. So I really loved the camper. I thought I'd keep it forever till this Commando came available at the police auction, surplus auction. Never thought I would get it. Uh, my brother Jared, he come down to the auction with me and um, we end up taking it home. It's pretty exciting now that I got a command unit. Real excited. I got it for 60,000. I probably put another 70 in it or so. Uh, I got about 150,000 in it total. It doesn't matter what it costs, it's my home and um, I'm real happy to have it. Okay, we're coming further back, and this is my bathroom. It came with a porcelain toilet. I love it. Um, it's the, those kind that are in boats. As long as it's working, I'm gonna keep using it. Come with a little, real little baby sink, but it works well, and um, that was all original with the bus. All right, here's the communication room, and I took a lot of stuff out just to make a little room for me, but still there's wires up in there. I left a few things, um, looks kind of cool. I've got um, a few guns. I'm not a gun person, but they're BB guns. So it's pretty exciting. So it's kind of a mess in there, but that's what happens when you live full time. All right, this is where they saved the world. This is the original conference table. There was monitors everywhere, computers and telephones and TVs. It was just crazy. So I had to keep this. I just had to keep this because it's pretty cool. So, and, uh, and this is where I eat. And then I can make another bed back here if I want to. So. Um, we put that in there and because the, the table was stationary, it was built in here and we made it where it goes down and up. So Originally, there was, a, there was a microwave here, so I put one back. This is just a freezer only. I got a refrigerator and freezer, then I got my overflow freezer here. And this is where they had the uh, coffee maker. And that's original. 
Looks like they've never used it. I don't drink coffee, so it'll stay brand new for a long time. Okay, this here, there, this was another uh, space, just like on the other side for all the communication stuff. It had tons of VCRs, um, just a lot of communication stuff. It was pretty impressive, but it was no good for me. I needed the space. So I took these file cabinets, there was two, one on each side, and I took the file cabinets and uh, I put it in here. And here's where a lot of my clothes go. It's just packed full. And in the communication room, I got a lot of jackets and stuff. And underneath this booth, it's almost two and a half feet deep, tons of clothes. So this is kind of what I work off every day. So I do own a real little small piece of land in Georgia, and but I still live in my bus full time. So when I go to my piece of land in Georgia, um, I got full hook up there, which is wonderful. So I kind of like that little bit of home base. Um, I've only had it this bus two years, we did a lot of work on it. The slides were rotted. And, uh, I mean, we did lots of work. And in between that and this two years, I've put on over 23,000 miles already. So I've been to a lot of places. This is a 100 gallon freshwater tank. And in 2004, they had a three filter system. That's pretty good. This here is when the weather's good, this is where I do all my cooking. This is more storage here. Of course, that popcorn machine I've had for years and I had to take it with me. So um, if I ever uh, need some uh, fuel money, maybe I can sell popcorn or something to get me, get me where I gotta go. This is some type of uh, plumbing device right here that you can turn off the water. It's got a bathroom inside, of course, a sink and get your controls. If you ever have any leaks, you can turn a certain room off. And here's the battery compartment. I got two batteries for starting the vehicle. And then I put in four Battleborn lithium batteries and they work really, really good. The heater's on today because it is cold. And here's the best part of the whole thing is the engine. When I got this at the police auction, it only had 12,000 miles on it. It's a 2004, so I was real excited to get that. It's the nine liter, six cylinder turbo. It's 400 horsepower, but a friend of mine, Gordy, he said, it's not about horsepower, it's about torque. It's got like 1,200 pounds of torque. I can pass anybody going uphill. And this is really impressive. I was so excited to find out. There's an 8K generator up front. And then it also came with a 12K. So just the generators alone is a ton of money. They both work great, make this bus have lots and lots of power. All right, this is where the 8K generator is. And um, on most of these, even high-end motorhomes, they got like a button or, you know, they, they just pull it out. This one is electric. I think it's uh, own end. They're, they're both diesel generators. They run off the same fuel tank. I got 150 gallons of fuel. Um, this is my badge I put on there. This was the command center for Atlanta. Uh, I was born in 61, so I made this badge up, so I call it Commando 61. All right, this is a really cool part. I'll probably say that a lot because the whole bus is cool for me. So, If you see up there, they had a camera up there when it was the command center. It goes up about 30 feet, maybe more. Camera didn't work. I put a new camera on there, so I'm going to demonstrate, and we're going to raise the mast. Now, when you see it going up, you're going to think it's finished, but it just keeps going. So if I'm at a sketchy place once in a while, boondock, and I just kind of put that camera up a little bit. That is it. Okay, can you believe this? The whole thing is done in uh, diamond plate metal. Who knows what that would cost? I did have to put in new air conditioners. They were gone. They were froze up. One day, I might do solar panels. I'm not sure, but I do have the room. But I think I might just rather have a kind of a sitting area up here. I did put that toolbox here. I just got some more stuff in it. Another air conditioner. And look, there's that tower. I'm six foot one and we still got a ways to go. Um, you know, I've watched so many videos for the past six, seven years and um, I'm gonna say the same thing everybody says, it's like, go for it. It's so wonderful. 
I never thought I would do this in my life. You know, we were told work hard, buy a big house, have five cars, whatever, just keep on working, working, working. And um, I just really never realized I would make it simple uh, like this. So um, I say go for it, try it. You can always go in debt and buy a house. I just want to thank everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoy the command unit, Commando 61. And I'm new at all of this, but I do have an Instagram. It's J-A-Y-S underscore Commando 61. Thank you.